teaching assistants are playing an increasingly important part in supporting children's learning. We'll be looking at the valuable role Rabina Koza, the teaching assistant at this school, plays in one numeracy intervention, Springboard Maths. Rabina supports those children perceived to be underachieving in numeracy. Currently in this year 5 class, 5 children have been identified to begin extra groundwork using the springboard materials. Rabina plans out her work with class teacher Ruby Bogle. And the thousands. Okay, so that's that partition. So what's my total, what's the answer going to be? One thousand. Once a week, she works with them outside the classroom, troubleshooting for individual difficulties. Day to day, it's very much a matter of being on the children's wavelength. I really enjoy working with the group. I think every child is special. What does the word integer mean, Johanseb? Exact whole numbers, that's what integers are. Any whole number. Right, I want some examples now of whole numbers, whole numbers, i.e. integers. Abu, can you give me one, please? 27. 27, yes. 38. 38. Luther, can you give me a whole number? 28. Excellent, well done. To the nearest 10, which is easy, 100, and a thousand. We've got a lot of children with good potential. Again, the, the mental skills need brushing up a little bit, which is why this springboard process is so good. It's polishing up those mental skills. How many hundreds are there in a thousand, Camille? Ten. Good lad. Right, my first number is... This is a really big number now. Who can say this number first? Let's say this number, because this is a tricky one. Janelle. 7,641. You just break it up. It's easy. Thousands column, hundreds column, tens column, units column. OK. Having said that, how many hundreds are there? How many hundreds are there? Just say the number. How many hundreds? Sadima. Six hundreds. Well done. How many tens? Johan said. Four tens. Well done. How many units? So easy. Abu. One unit, excellent. And how many thousands? Someone from this table. Marianne? Seven thousand. Seven thousands, well done. Round that, first of all, easy one to start off with. Well, it's quite easy. To the nearest thousand, go. To the nearest thousand. Write that number down. To the nearest and thousand. And display. Show me. What's the answer, everybody? Eight thousand. Right, that's too easy. Let's trick you. That. That to the nearest hundred. The number is 7,641. A lot of you have just written 600. That's not right. Everyone say the answer. Rabina's able to feed back to the class teacher how the lesson's been received by the children. They found the first part easy. Two they digits. The two digits. Right. And then when you moved on to the hundreds, they've got a bit confused. And when you moved on to the thousands... When I moved on to the three-digit numbers, and I said to them, round that to the nearest ten, well, how did they find that? Because I saw some... there was some delay in them putting the order. Mm. But they found it a bit difficult because they were looking at all the... they were looking at the hundreds, the thousands... But did they get there in... they got there they in got, the they end, got it but it was just end. a bit slower, wasn't it? They got it at the end, but they needed support. And did you notice when I asked about how many units in a ten, how many tens in a... They struggled on that. Not only your group, a lot of them. Mm, so I'm wondering if you need to revise over that first of all. There's a weekly plan for her group. She revises this with the Key Stage 2 Numeracy Coordinator. Adding two three-digit numbers. Yeah. And you can use your whiteboard to do that. Yeah, OK, that's fine. The children that we withdraw are identified as working just below the expected level for their age. And um, in my experience, that group tends to be held back. They're not achieving that level four. They tend to be held back, I think, because of either a, a lack of number knowledge or a lack of confidence when dealing with number. Two-digit numbers. Then let them have a go working independently. 
Okay. When the confident. Yeah, yeah that's fine. So that'd be okay. Yeah. We'll use the whiteboard. As well. Sometimes schools use breakfast clubs after school or lunch times to follow up and that's when I take my group to the resource room. Rabina's following up on the integer work. In a small group, she can build the children's confidence about handling larger numbers. Or a thousand. Can someone remember what the word integer means? Abu? Uh, integer is a whole number. Is a whole number. So can you give me an example? Uh, 30. 30 is an integer? 20. Yeah. 28. 28. 58. 58. 92. And 92. And the first number that I'm going to ask you to round up to the nearest 10. 16 to the nearest 10. If you're rounding it up, what's the nearest 10? Rounding it up to the nearest 10. 20. 20. Well done. OK, that was easy. What about if I had 15? 20. How did you work that out? You can't go back, you have to go. You've got to carry on. on. Well done. OK, now we're going to move on to the thousands. Which I thought you found it a bit difficult earlier on in lessons, so we're going to go through that. So I've got a number line here. 1,000 to 2,000. What do I need to do first? One thousand and five in the middle. I need to put the middle. One thousand five hundred. Okay, I'll give you a number. One thousand eight hundred and fifty. Do I need to do Jan's? Round you up. Okay, so if I'm rounding it to the nearest thousand, what is it? Two thousand. Two thousand. Okay. Let's see if you can do... At the end of each uh, follow-up lesson, I uh, fill in an evaluation sheet. So I list down the children that I feel have reached the objective or I feel if a child, if there's any children in the group that has not reached the learning objective, we can extend that work with them later on. I'm sure you'll have no problem doing your homework. Another important part of Springboard Maths is encouraging parent support. Each week there's a special homework sheet and parents receive a letter explaining how they can help. You take it to my homework, man? English is an additional language for the majority of Prince Albert's pupils. So, enlisting the support of parents in their children's learning is important. 50. 50. About 7 o'clock, you know, I'll get them together and ask them if they have any homework. So, I'll just work with them. And if I don't know something, you see, I'll ask my eldest son to uh, help the others. Good boy. Okay, that's the answer, yeah? That's 3 plus 80. And the missing number is? 6. 600. Good. 700 100 mm -hmm. is 521. Good boy. I think he's doing very well. But um, with a little bit of encouragement from me and the family, you know, I think he can do it much better. More challenging work in the next lesson means Rabina's role is even more important. Who can tell me what I mean when I say partition or partitioning? Abu? Break it, in, break it up. That's excellent. You break it down. You split the number up. OK. So let's split this number up. How many hundreds have we got? Yeah. 700. How many tens have we got? Yeah. Eight, which is 80. And how many units, Rooks, are? Two. OK. So that's that partition. 302, let's partition it. Now the children within that group, that focus group, are so much more confident. They're putting their hand up so much more, and I'm able to choose them. It's so evident that their confidence is coming out. So what's my total? What's the answer going to be? 1,084. Good girl, and you said the and in the right place. That's excellent. 1,000 and... 84. Let's leave that now for a moment and let's go on to subtraction. Please Which of those two numbers do you look at first? 
and 58. So you round it to the nearest 10 first. 360. And at the side you need to write down how many, how many numbers you have added to round it up. So what's the next 100 to the nearest 100? 400. How much have you added on? 40. Now tottle this up please, Lutha. 242. Not quite, not quite. Someone help him out, Abu. Go on. Good lad, 294. Put your hand up and be honest and don't worry if you made a mistake. Put your hand up if you got 294. Put your hand up. Okay, put your hand up if you went. <laughs> Sometimes Rabina's analysis of how the lessons have been received isn't always as expected. That sort of was able to cope with the subtraction, uh, partitioning, uh, which was yeah, yeah. And uh, the rest of them, they found it, they were really confused. So Rabina decides, with the class teacher, to go back to basics with partitioning. Leave subtraction completely for now. We're focusing on that. In class, you've been looking at partitioning. I want you to tell me how to do this one. 38 add 46, transit. You can break the numbers up and add them all together. Okay, let's do that first. 30, bracket. And then what do I need to do? 46. 46. 40. Add. add. Add six. six. Okay. So is Springboard just an attempt to improve schools' test results? This school isn't a SATS-driven school. We are SATS-aware but not SATS-driven. So, yes, it may have some effect on the results, but we're looking more on the day-to-day -day performance. Individual children might not be very good when it comes to tests and things like that. I know I wasn't very good when I was at school with tests and things, but my day-to-day -day performance and these kids' day-to-day -day performance, it's improving every minute. Yep, yeah. brilliant. That was really good, Mariam. I think a lot of them come out of their shells within a smaller group. Obviously, uh, there's a bit of a confidence thing there. They need their confidence boosting. Gaining confidence, gaining in their abilities means that they they enjoy maths more, which is obviously is, is the you know the the end aim that we're looking at. We're wanting children to enjoy learning about number, enjoy their math lessons. Is there anything that you found difficult when we did, when we went no, through that? No, Nothing easy. at all. No. Was, was it easy? Was it easy? Already? Above all, the implementation of springboard maths demonstrates just how valuable teaching assistants can be in raising standards and helping class teachers to evaluate their own effectiveness. I think that by being in the classroom I can really help my teacher to know what's working and what's not.